Hi everybody and welcome along to another cook with me. So tonight I am making um, burrito but I'm making it as a burrito grande which is just a giant burrito essentially so it's going to fill this um, baking tray which you can then just cut into servings um, rather than make individual ones. Now I'm using as the basis for this um, one of these burrito kits. You don't have to because I'm not actually making it the way it says in the kit. Um, but it has all the components that I need and it was reduced this week at the grocery store. So um, if you're not using the burrito kit, you would need to have some flour tortillas. You need about four of the average size tortillas or wraps. Um, the cooking sauce that is included in these kits is something that in the States is called taco sauce. It's quite hard to find here, although they do sometimes have it available on Amazon. Um, and some, I understand that some grocery stores do sell it, but none where I live. I've never seen it on the shelves in the grocery stores. It's called taco sauce and it's a bit like salsa, but without any of the chunky vegetables in. And then this has also got some salsa in it, which I'll just use um, to serve with along with some sour cream. So I'm using the basis of that, but you don't need the burrito kit in order to make it. You just need to have some tortillas and some of the taco sauce. And if you've got a bottle of that that you've bought separately, then that's all you need. You don't need to buy a kit. I've then got a can of the red kidney beans in chili sauce. You could also use a can of the taco beans. I showed those last week in my Meals of the Week video. I used them in a chili um, meal that I made. Um, it's just mixed beans essentially in a taco spicy sauce. But this just happens to be kidney beans. And then using a package of mints. You could also use like a spicy sausage meat. Um, you could use any mints, as you know, we use turkey mints for almost everything in this house. Um, but you could make it with whatever kind of mints you like or sausage meat. Um, you only really need to make the burrito, you only need half a package of mints, so about 250 grams. But as I'm making this sort of filling, this is the sort of thing that Tony will just gobble up. And so he'll take the extra tortillas with the filling and make something for his lunch to have um, tomorrow at work out of that. So I am making a full package of mints, but you could easily make this with half. Um, some cumin, an essential item for any Mexican inspired um, meal. And then grated cheese. And now I've, I've got this mix of, it's a four cheese mix. It's cheddar, definitely. What else is in there? Uh, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese, double Gloucester and red Leicester. Um, you could use, sometimes at our Tesco's, they have a blend that's got kind of taco flavours in it, like chilli powder mixed in with the cheese, like a taco cheese mix. Um, you could use something like that. You could use just cheddar, you could use just mozzarella, whatever you've got on hand, whatever your family likes really. But I just thought that would make a nice, um, a nice addition to this meal. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the mince in the pan, in the skillet, and just brown it, cook it all the way through. So I'll get that going, and then I'll come back and show you the next steps. Okay, so the mince has browned, and I've added to that a teaspoon of cumin and the can of kidney beans in chili sauce. So that is now my filling mixture for the burritos. One thing I had forgotten is in the um, kits, the, tor the tortillas are much smaller than the, the kind of um, old El Paso ones that we usually buy. Um, or even the ones from Aldi or somewhere are a bit bigger than this, the regular wraps. So what I've decided to do is instead of make one really big one and then have some filling left over, I'm going to make two slightly smaller ones using three tortillas each. That way there'll probably still be some left over for Tony to take um, for lunch tomorrow. So you layer your um, tortillas down your pan, sort of overlapping like this, just to fill up the length of your pan. Um, you want them reasonably well aligned and don't worry about how much overlap there is. They're tortillas, they don't need to cook, so it's not like overlapping pastry or something like that. Um, and what I'm going to do, I don't have any help in the kitchen this evening for camera duty, so I'm not going to be able to do this on camera, but I'm going to explain what I'm going to do, then I'll do one and show you how it, how it looks. So I'm going to put a layer of the... Um, meat and bean mixture right down the middle of the overlap tortillas then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the top of that and then I will fold the whole thing over and of course I'll tuck it under so it makes a giant burrito so I'm going to do one then I'll come back and show you how that looks and explain what happens next um, before we move on to the next step 
So there we go, I have filled it with half the meat mixture, sprinkled some cheese along the top and then I just sort of held it in place as I rolled over the filling, um, the tortillas and then just kept rolling like you're making a sausage roll with pastry until the seam is on the bottom of the, um, the seam between the uh, tortillas and also the seam where the two join. Um, where that seam is on the bottom as well. So um, I'll just do the other one and then I'll come back and show you one final touch before they go in the oven. So again, just to show you, that is what it looks like before I roll it. So I've put a nice layer of the filling, with some cheese sprinkled over the top. Make sure you put your filling all the way to the ends. Um, otherwise, the person that gets the end slice is going to be shortchanged when it comes to the filling. Um, so just make sure you spread it all the way along, all three or four tortillas if you're making a slightly bigger one. Okay, so this is the last step before they go in the oven. Now in that kit, there were two packages of sauce. One was the cooking sauce, which you would, if you were following their directions, you would stir that through the mince while it was cooking. Um, and it's quite thick, it's quite pasty, a bit like a curry paste kind of texture. So I put that half over each burrito and I've just spread it out with spatula um, to spread it across the tortilla tops. And then the other package was salsa, um, which here in the UK salsa is quite thin usually, um, especially the jarred stuff. Um, and so that was quite runny. So I've poured that over the top as well, just to give it the two layers of that tomato-y spicy flavor. If you had um, taco sauce on hand, that would be a thin, a bit like a passata kind of consistency. So you would just pour some of that over the top of each. You could make your own with some passata and some kind of Mexican style seasonings, perhaps like chili powder and some cumin, um, perhaps a little pinch of cayenne to make your own. I'm sure if you searched online, you'd find recipes for taco sauce, homemade taco sauce. Um, but either way, you know, it doesn't matter. We, we aren't lucky enough to have a good um, variety of Mexican ingredients, Mexican meal ingredients or Tex-Mex meal ingredients here in the UK. Um, but you can you can always find a workaround. I've you know Tex-Mex and Mexican food is our favourite type of food, Tony and I, and I've made just about everything since we've been back in the UK and found a workaround that that's doable. Doesn't taste quite the same, but it works. So I've put the sauces over the top, and I've sprinkled a little bit more cheese, which I'll do the same on this one. Then I've preheated the oven to about 180 Celsius. And I'm just going to cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes. So the meat is just about cooked through. That was fully browned through before I added the beans and the seasonings. Um, and then really nothing else needs to cook other than um, the sauces need to kind of soak into the tortillas and the cheese needs to go all nice and melty. So 15 to 20 minutes at 180 Celsius. When it's all finished, I'll come back and show you the end product. And so there, um, 15 to 20 minutes later, this is what you end up with. And you can see there the filling inside the burrito, the saucy um, red sauce has soaked into the tortilla a little bit, the cheese has gone all melty on the top. This is just some cheese that kind of has got sprinkled on the pan rather than on the um, tortilla. But they have stayed together, so they are fully enclosed, the filling hasn't spilled out. And we're going to have that with a little bit of sour cream on the top and then I've chopped up some salad as well to have with it. But that is our burrito grande.